G'day guys, Paul for Marks. We're out here at a child care centre at Chatswood doing some fibre splicing. They had us out uh, yesterday or the, uh, to do some testing and we found that uh, only six of the fibres had been uh, spliced in. Once we looked in the phobite, as you can see, uh, the other six weren't done. So um, yeah. they want to get the other six done so they can uh, have uh, redundant fibres and uh, they need to patch in another pair. So uh, we've got all that ready. We're getting set up. Um, we've got our OM162.5 uh, micron pigtails um, for correct core alignment when we do the splicing. Um, we're just uh, getting ready to do an arc test as well. So we've just done an arc test before we start doing any uh, fibre splicing. So you can see here that the arc test is completed and ready to go. So we use a FibreFox Mini 6S. Um, it's a high-end fibre splicer. It does pull tests on the end of, uh, on each splice, and we can remove the fibre holders. Uh, we can strip and clean the fibre, then sit it into the fibre holders, drop it into the uh, cleaver, as you can see, and uh, then we can cleave it, and then we can move it all up into the uh, fibre uh, fusion splicer, the Mini 6S, and uh, it, it's exactly where it needs to be. Um, perfect every time. The right cleave angle, um, the right uh, distance in the uh, in the machine to the uh, fusion splice. So as you can see, it's a little bit hard to do it one hand. So we've got it all set up. We're just doing the uh, fusion splice now. I like to do mine in stages. Some people like to just set auto and do the whole lot, but I like to view each process as we do it. So there you can see we've got a good clean uh, good clean splice and a 0.02 dB loss, which is average for. Uh, for multi mode uh, 62.5 micron fiber. Now we've just dropped it into the oven. We've got 11 more to do. Thanks for watching. Cheers.